What's up, bitches and bitchettes? Welcome back to the President's Play Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke Edition. Today, I will be sweeping this final gym from Wallace the Theater Boy with my cheerleaders Barack Obama and Donald H. Trump. What's going on, fellas? Nothing much, Joe. Just mentally preparing myself for the final saga of this series. I've been sparring with Sukuna a couple hours here and there to be ready for the league. How's it hanging, Donald? I'm good, Barack. Still chuffed after the last video, I gotta say. Even I was shocked with my performance. What's the game plan, Joe? Evolving Sir Shit straight away? You'd want to be careful if that's the case. This Corsola is doing damage. Knock him a please. The spider's fine. Get over it. GP wouldn't script a death at the start of a video. Is this a prank? We aren't live right now, are we? It's all right, it's all right. As Dawn would say, let me crush your head with my pokey thighs because there's no need to worry. Or at least that's what I wish she would say to me. We've only been recording for a hot minute, so let's start over. Now, if I just hold B and select at the same time, it should... Did you just load a save state? Oh, for the love of Whitney, how far back did you go? Well, we were in Slateport only a short while ago for the submarine cutscene, so if I had to guess... Oh my good gracious gobbly Galvantula! This is before the third gym. Are you shitting me? Bullshit! Your wife! King Kong! Lil Ziga! Oh my gosh, the memories are rushing back to me. Two cannon tits! Okay, Joe, listen to every move I call out. First, you're going north. Twelve tiles, left three steps. Then once you get to that patch of grass, you need to turn around in six frames exactly. Six hours later. After that, we are back to where we left off. Holy hell, I am giga drained after that. I cannot believe you retraced every RNG value to recreate our journey step by step, Barack. That was gnarly. And good on you, Joe, for following all of his instructions. Shame Sir Shit still died against that Corsola, so this was all practically useless, but it was worth a shot. Gonna grab our next encounter on this dangerous machine real quick. How y'all can control this doohickey is beyond my understanding. Aha! Uh -huh. Payback is a bitch, Donnie. Since you called the Slack King Joe when you were playing, I'm gonna dedicate this lazy gimp to you. I thought payback was a dark type move. Well, slather my tree with honey. That was some college of knowledge coming from yourself, Donald. Totally unexpected hot damn. I only know that because I was paying back Joe's mama last night with a jaw lock. Call me a self-harming Ma's chiff because that was pure dark. You know, Joe's mama used to be my manager, right? I'd always slam her body like a dog until she was left sore. You could say my boss stiff. How did this turn into a gangbang roast against my mother? I want to turn. Let me go next. Oh, God, we fucked up, Donnie. Abort! Abort! Wait! I changed my mind. I'm actually a normal type. Let's move swiftly along. You're going to roast me with this slack off, right, Sleepy Joe? Oh, yeah. You are indeed correct, Don Flamingo. I had a good name lined up, but now I can't remember. Just remember how much of a dickhead Donald is. Does that help? Try insult him like he did to you. That's right. That's me, big pee pee head. No leperberry. Aha! I got it. I'm gonna call this bitch Donald Dick. Can you at least use D dance on D Dick then? You'd like that, wouldn't you, you naughty boy? That was close, Donald. Good work diverting that dodgy conversation. No worries, Barack. I just couldn't stand the thought of poor old Joe getting flamed in the comments for saying he wants to head smash his own mom. I'd rather them shit on him for getting the whole team swept or something. What are you two shallow slimeballs whispering about? Oh, nothing, Mr. Chestnut. We were just saying we should be quiet to listen out for the cry of whatever this Kai Ogre happens to be randomized to. Who wants to nut on my chest? I'm not saying no, I'm just wondering. You have a shorter attention span than a Tynamo, Joe. Ha! Tyna Joe. Who? The... CAC? A level 50 grass type. Holy sheet! This is exactly what we needed, boys. Imagine evolving this guy and having a level 51 vile plume or executor or septile. The potential for this guy is outstanding. I'm excited too, Joe. Yeah! No, you palmy bastard. I think I'm having a heart attack. Quick, call the amber lamp. Don't be ridiculous, Joe. Let me shapeshift into a cum fae for you and use aromatherapy. Poof. Oh, wowie zowie. You've been cured of your heart disease, you little bitch. Well, tickle my marsh and stomp on my balls. I didn't think that would actually work, Barack. Thanks, I owe you one. I even managed to catch this prickly little goof while undergoing all that stress. Guess it's time to end the episode here. What do you say? Explain the nickname first, and then I'll crush claw your dreams. Okay, well, according to our editor, K 
Cack the Jack is a common phrase in the land of the Irish and the leprechauns, which means to shit the pit, duke the jukes, soil the poipole, scatter the fecal matter, level the Nutella, hoof the bidoof. Okay, stop now, please. That's enough shit coming from you. Oh, for God's sake. Ha, ha, ha. He got you there, Barack. And just to rub some purifying salt in the wound, you ain't ending this episode just yet, Joe. Nice try. I know exactly how you feel, Joe. That cruel Dudeni colored dipstick makes me feel that way inside, too. You and I will get through this. Don't worry, buddy. Technically, I've been playing for like half a day to make it back here, so I think I should pass the turn over to one of you guys. Um, I don't really feel like fighting Wallace anymore. Plus, I think I need a haircut, and I broke my right ear recently, and my grandpa died at some point, and my son twisted his nipple, and the sun is slowly approaching the earth. I've got to do something, guys. I wasn't going to bring it up, but you have been smack-talking Donald and I the past few episodes, Joe, and we've let it slide like a tortuga. All of a sudden, it's your turn to fight, and you're running away like a radicate. So much for our reliable captain. Wait, that was you shit-talking, Joe? Er, my gird, that is embarrassing as hell. I didn't even notice that's how abysmal your roast must have been. All right, save and quit then, you cowardice bitch. Give it up. You suck. Wait, hold on. I changed my mind. This gym is dark type. That automatically makes it more free than a five-finger discount at Walmart. I'm surprised you didn't call it a Barack type gym. I was really expecting it this time. I have a little decency towards you, Obama. Come on, I'm not that bad. Plus, that's what I'd call a ghost type gym. Because I want your kind dead. Hey, to the freakity, yo. What did he just say? The only thing dying here is this chicken kicking licking cock. Joe, what the dodrio do do is this? Why aren't you switching? I'm meticulously utilizing my cross chop so I can land a critical hit on the last one against Wallace's final team member. It will literally be a life or death situation for twitch.tv forward slash Melofira here. So by rolling the proper RNG value, I'm guaranteeing that final critical hit for when I need it the most. Well, there you have it, boys. I was trying to hold in the hydro steam for as long as I could, but you know the drill. As soon as someone mentions random number generators, I can't help but bust. Quite unprofessional, Barack. At least I completed No Nut November. Anyways, boys, while I'm tail slapping this gym upside the head real quick, I think it's time for another comment question. Viewers, today's question is, what is your favorite item in all of Pokemon, bringing it back to the basics? I've actually admitted mine before, but it's the amulet coin. Straight up just doubles the money you get from battles. What more is there to love? Buying stuff is an integral part of playing any Pokemon game, and this makes acquiring those items much easier. If you need potions or Pokeballs, you can buy more throughout the adventure. If you need vitamins or certain technical machines for competitive battling, you'll get the funds up in no time. Just slap this dog tag looking item on your overleveled starter, blitz the Elite Four, and then you're practically a millionaire. Works for just about any game, any region. Oh my gosh, we should do that with Snoop. Anywho, mine is Eviolite. It's very rare that a game freak messes with the idea of stopping an evolution to weigh up the pros and cons of a final stage Pokemon. Generally speaking, the ending monster is always the strongest. But with this item, they've created a genuine advantage in having a mid or first stage evolution. What's better than a max special defense Blissey? A 150% special defense Chansey. Brings me back to the red and blue days when that egg carrying MILF was one of the greats. She's not the only effective user of the item, however. Dubblade, Dusclops, Scyther, Bish Sharp, Porygon 2, and literally the entirety of Little Cup. I would personally love to see a similar item that boosts attack, maybe by 1.3 times for balance sake and see how that would impact the meta. Here's to hoping. Mine is leftovers. If you're ever struggling to figure out what type of item to give to your Pokemon, this one is always a safe bet. Free healing is huge, whether that be competitive or in a challenge run like what we're doing right now. In earlier generations, it was obviously overpowered for being too strong for how low damaging the metagame was, especially in Gen 2. But as the power has drastically increased since those days, the item has scaled relatively smoothly in comparison. It's not broken anymore, but it can still help you out a ton in the right situations. All right, I'm ready to face the consequences of the statement. Toxic stalling and protect spamming adds another layer to the game. There, I said it. There ain't anything wrong with those strategies. They just aren't as flashy as pure offense teams, so people like to shit on them. Lefties is literally so iconic as an item. The creator of FNAF named an animatronic after them. Give me an item with a greater achievement than that. You can't. 
Lefty was not inspired by a regularly restorative item in a children's role-playing game. It was a cheap cash grab to include a dark-skin-toned Freddy to appeal to the minorities. I see it worked on yourself, Barack. That makes sense. So does Lowell bit represent me then? Day 966 of Donald thinking he is white. Sweet Marini on a pike. When will this suffering end? Speaking of, I believe Chica and Law just leveled up. So we're getting two evolutions here for the price of one. Looking like a Ninkata. Please evolve into something even more delicious looking. A Kingdra would be nice. Hold up, did anyone else's vagina just get extremely itchy? I would say this is a good cop. Vaj is one of our better soldiers still alive and kicking in our PC, so having a spare cub foo-foo isn't a bad thing, really. You know, I was with a cloister-looking bitch once. I told her all I'm asking for is the minky and the brain. All right, you jet-punching piplup, quiet down. We have the most important evolution of the run right here. Oh my god, no, please no. Barack, are we safe where we stand? I really don't know, Donald. My advice, prepare for the worst coming from Joe. I can't tell if that was a groan of pain, pleasure, or both. Frankly, I'd rather not know the answer. Ironic how the name still fits as he's become as yellow as Joe's piss. Stats are decent across the board with notable HP, which is huge. Hold on, Obama, something ain't right. Joe, you've been acting sus this episode, and I don't mean in an NDD deep-throating way like I'm used to. Is everything good, buddy? Shut up, Espathra Piper. I'm insecure and I know what for, but talking about it ain't gonna help. Oh, Joe, don't be like this. I've known you my whole life, ever since you held me hostage until my parents forked over that hollow Pikachu Illustrator card. Understandable, by the way, so you can trust Barack and I to help you through your worries. What's up, my man? He's right, Joe. These little screams or orgasms or whatever you are having aren't pleasant to listen to constantly. Please, tell us what's really going on. Okay, okay, guys, I'll tell you. Only because I trust you too and the other seven million people watching this video right now. I think the reason I'm having these little strokes or heart attacks or liver failures or strokes is because I'm a teeny bit nervous in fighting Wallace. I've literally been playing for six hours and I only got 33 hours of sleep last night. It's well past my bedtime right now, so I think I'm just freaking a little bit since this final gym leader is so important to this run, you know? And that's totally understandable. Of course, you would be rattled like a Dunsparce if so much pressure was put on you. I bet your PP has been getting lower too. I just presume that happened once you surpassed a couple thousand years old anyway. My Twizzler hasn't been twisted in decades at this point. My heart goes out to you, Joe, but don't worry, we will get through this gym together as a team. Is that all that's bothering you? There's nothing else we can help you with? We are here for you, my boy. Well, I did intake 80 HP ups, proteins, irons, calciums, zincs, and carbos each this morning. I know the daily dosage is like 10 max, but they are just so darn yummy, I couldn't resist. Ha ha ha. Do you guys think Murkrow will live this toxic poison? You took how many? You dark winged dick, ripping prison girthy max schmirky. I was joking, you idiots. He's living 100%. Don't even think about using Rock Smash. Get the hell out of there, man. Cack the Jack or Chica is honestly your best bet or Thunderbolt from day one. Are we gonna skim over the fact that Joe has ingested so many tablets today he could drop dead at any minute? Our Murkrow is basically you right now, you drug addict. Poisoned and left on its last legs. You cannot say shit about drugs, you rowel at reef blower. I'ma start calling you Tropius the way the grass makes you fly. Both of you sit the hell down. I've got this on lock like a Klefki. This crawdon is garbage. Endeavor is one of the most useless moves ever, unless you try to cheese with it. Extra sensory is okay, I guess, but it is pointless unless it's super effective. And ice punch, I suppose, is its only good move. Why should I even be worried right now? Oh, please. I rolled a fresh bell sprout or two, and all of a sudden, I have a problem? I better not get this much hate when I chow down on some she nautics next time. Now, now, Barack, this episode ain't about you. We're here to support and encourage our best man, Joe, who we have so much faith in, right? Uh, I suppose so. Thank you, Oomphies. Y'all are the best. I'm feeling like I've overcome my anxiousness now. These happy days must carry on. So once again, let's go back to the start. I don't know about you boys, but I feel like after that last segment, I heard a single teardrop falling from the editing room. Speaking of which, we are approaching the finale of this series, so make sure to show your love and support viewers by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. 
Imagine the last episode when we rip the Elite Four limb by limb and make Steven stone our bitch. How hype is that going to be? The last episode will also premiere live here on YouTube. So make sure to hit the bell and turn on notifications to be sure to catch that when it drops. This series has been a long ride, but all good things come to an end. Except Gen 4 OU, peak metagame balance. I wouldn't say that now, Donald. The introduction of Stealth Rocks butchered a lot of monsters like my brother in Christ Moltres. They should have planned ahead the significance of entry hazards and buffed the Phoenix. Buff the Phoenix? No! Uh... I'm sorry, guys. I've got five bars activating X Factor. I can't control it. <laughs> Limiters removed. Operating nano machines, son. Oh my gosh, Barack, are you seeing this? I know. I can't believe it. It's 2023. Who leads with a mighty Enna anymore? You can do better than that, Wallace. No, you spoink shagger. I mean, full power master Joshi over here. What's this all about? Puny worm pulse. This is the effects of overdosing on the body. If you frail little humans could withstand it, you mere ningans become so overwhelmed with power that your feeble bodies cannot comprehend its enhancement in physical and mental capabilities. Witness my true power. This is my OD form. So you've gone OD. That's kind of OD. So what you're saying is, You've been stockpiling this power with the use of the vitamins this whole playthrough. That's all fine and dandy, but here's my biggest concern. How exactly does any of this help you in a Pokemon battle? You can mash the A button 100 times harder. So what? These Crawdons seem to be savages. What if Wallace pulled out three or four of them? Would you lose? Nah, I'd win. I can literally flex on them. Oh, butterfree on a baguette. This isn't good. I get worried when your Gojo Biden personality takes over. You get too cocky for your own good. Why is bro saying my ego too big? When day one is finna sweep the nature boy here real quick. One time for the one. Woo! You didn't even kill him, you fool. And there's the item. Probably a berry ready to mess shit up. You fell for the trap. A lychee berry. Oh, God, someone help us. We are in deep trouble. Oh, yes. So much trouble, because now he's wasted his healing item as this second Thunderbolt kills. Nobody could have seen this coming. Oh, wait, I did. Wait a darn diddly diglet here. Joe is actually cooking at this moment. One serving of your finest marinated chin chow balls, please. Two seconds. I'll whip him up after I switch out day one. No! More like he was destined to die one day. <laughs> uh, am I right, folks? There just ain't no way, my baby boy. If you want, I can reload the safe state and we can try this all over. Keep again. your trap in shut, bitch! You dealing in headlights looking saws fuck. I will joust your fucking dog shit ass like a sir fetched. I'll leave your body covered in snow like a snom. You wiggly tough ass cracker. As if a P ain't killing this sucker right now. Have some faith in my god tier ass. Bullshit, no grand bull. Can you guys guess who I am? Hey kids, it's me, Clown Joe from Jubilife. <laughs> Hop in the back of my Pokey van for a free Poke Etch app and free chalky ice cream, as well as some savory cum. Sounds like that guy, I think his name was Lee. He's from JBTV. He's always pulling freaky stunts like that. I'm a little concerned you know about this creepy subject, Joe, but I'm even more worried about our team right now. Our ace literally just dropped like a ton of rocks because of a ton of rocks. Now Chica is pimp smacking himself while getting electrocuted. This battle is going south real quick. I just need to low kick this puppy. Give me a chance here, will you? It just had to be the black dog, didn't it? I don't make the teams Barack, I just sweep them. My visions are showing me I will definitely be breaking through confusion on this turn. I knew it. I was right about you, Crooked Joe. You really are the most corrupt president in our history. Screw the election, screw the media, and screw being the representative of our country. The fact you are the most dog shit Pokemon player in the U.S. No, in the world, proves that you are an incompetent trainer. Incompetent? Need I remind you that you lost four monsters in the Tate and Liza fight and a total of seven Pokemon in that episode as a whole. I'm about halfway through Wallace's team, who is much tougher, and I've lost two monsters so far. I'm actually on pace here for a decent finish. I like the positivity, Joe. Ice Beam should mangle this Cacturn with no issues. Just don't get hacked out against this guy. I don't know what this Cub Chew Coke sniffer was taking in the pre-fight stalls, but using mist there was not the play. Sayonara, my favorite fleshlight. Imagine if he had two more cacturns, this fight would be one and done. Man's on that charge of bug copium. 
The bug buzz from that shit ain't bad, I can't lie, but we can't expect a free ride to victory. This crabby, non-crabby looking Pokemon would get smoked right now if I got an Omni Booster too. I'm gonna whip out my Super Rod and fish for it. Wait, he's using extra sensory, but that Perky Murky is immune to psychic type moves. Switch him in, that would be your best play, to also cure Laud of Confusion. Damn. Fraud Bomber is defeating the allegations today by choosing smarts over violence. What a mastermind of a read. I ran out of ancient power PP anyway, you cosmog conkers. Plus Rock Smash knocks out from here. A monkey could have made the right choice there. Let me rephrase that. Barack's sister could have made the right choice there and she's a girl. Shit! Look at this mozzarella bastard. What's the point in lowering your monster's health to use Endeavor? That would be a terrible strategy if we used it. There's a big difference between him and us. He could use items, Joe. What the actual fuck are you thinking? He should have used Ice Punch. That would have one-shot Murkrow easily. He might use Endeavor again, so I'll go into Cack the Jack. But now he's going to use Ice Punch. Oh, what's the point? He's dead already. Well, we do have a lot of HP, so there's a chance. Yamatai Kudasai! Miss me with that weeb shit, Obama. Not now. I need to focus my Biden blast so I can secure me some lobster for dinner. As someone who has unfortunately been in this situation before, please don't let the battle slip now, Joe. How can I slip if I'm the one doing the mopping? This chicken milf, or melf, or furry thing here is going to leaf blade this guy into the next big bang. Let's get it. You forgot about the psychic move already, didn't you? No, I didn't, broke Obama. We are living this every time. Oh my God, my heart, my young deep fried golden covered heart. Now it's time for the switch and Rock Smash will take him out. I told you that I'm the bestest. You've only been playing decent for the past two turns. You still have a lot to make up for to catch the dub. Where's Glizzy Rizzybeth when I need her? She can roast this guy while gagging on my chip. Please give us a Sableye or Sharpedo or something easy. We need this right now. It's the last month. Yippee! I love a challenge. Time to fuck up some more aquatic life. I respect the poison play. Hold on, boys. We've so got this. I honestly didn't have any- Wait a damn Sandshrew second. He's got a Lumberry? Wait, what the fuck, a Petcha? This is a fucking joke. This battle is scripted, Joe. How much you getting paid? And then Ice Punch to eviscerate Murky. A bit unlucky is what I'd call that. Don't worry, guys. I'll get him back with a hypnosis so I can safely switch into our kicking chicken. It's a foolproof strategy, let me assure you. And now you've got to break through confusion, only to land a 60% accuracy move. Dear Lord, where did it all go wrong? Is it because I caught the stupid ass toilet bird from back then? If so, forgive me. Didn't know you were so religious, Donald. Say hi to Wagma when you rot in hell. You're both acting like this is Jover, but it ain't Jover. Here's the confusion break. And there's the fucking miss. <laughs> Everything this battle has been amiss, you sleepy bastard. Donald was right. Guys, why can I see the pearly gates? Why is Arceus himself slowly descending down upon me? Is it the end of the world? I sure don't feel fine. This is why they call me the Climax King, the Clutch Crown Prince. Here it comes, cross chop crit to close out the battle. Wait, we might still live if we get the low roll and the stars align. in chain.